and welcome to a new reading vlog. The second one of the month, the third week of Spoopathon is upon us. I am still reading Anxious People. Um, I haven't read any more since where I left off in the last vlog because I've just been at work all day. But the new prompts have dropped. I took a quick little scan of them and I think I know uh, what we'll read for the next book. But for now, let me tell you what's in the wave. So the third wave, we have Dark Academia, Bone White, 100 plus years old, Trick or Treat, Based on a True Story, Graphic Novel, Vampires, Your Biggest Fear, Ebook, or Potions. And then for extra ammo, we have Favorite Author, 2022 Release, Hauled Two Years Ago, Poll, or One Word Title. So the first thing that came to mind was Daisy Jones and the Six, because um, it is white and it is an ebook. So that would get me both prompts completely checked off. And it is a pick that was decided by a poll. So it would get me some bonus points as well. I am thinking the picture of Dorian Gray would also work for this if I ever actually finish it. Well, it would work for Bone White and 100 years old. So that's possible. Um, so those are the two that are possible, but we need to finish Anxious People first and I need to do some sprints. So that's gonna be the plan for this week but I would also like to read Daisy Jones on the six as well so we need to finish anxious people by Wednesday because I have book club on Wednesday for it that's okay it's Friday now I'm gonna read some more of it and do a couple other things and then I have to go to hockey so it'll be more of a weekend reading project good morning vlog it is Sunday I have not read much more of anxious people but enough that I'm starting to get hooked a little bit. I'm sitting down here on the couch waiting for the game that I'm working to start. So I've been reading a little bit. And the dialogue is really good. But the... I don't know. I'm still not sold on his writing. Like there are some times where I feel like he wrote a book and then they're like, this book isn't long enough. Can you put in some vague comments about the world to make it longer and then he did but maybe that's just me being um picky and unnecessarily annoying about it so we'll see i'm gonna keep reading but happy sunday hello it is Sunday evening and I'm just hanging out alone <laughs> in my house. I'm watching Do Revenge on Netflix. I feel like I'm behind because I feel like everyone's seen it. It's cute so far. Um, it's compelling enough to see how it all works out so I'm intrigued. But my dad reminded me that I had... Um, these pumpkin cookies in the freezer so I thought Ooh. I'd make them tonight do to do, do heat oven cookie dough or main place cookie dough on ungreased cookie sheet 12 to 14 minutes oh okay okay so let's uh preheat the oven what is it for 350 okay. bake three five zero okay so I'll go watch the movie until the oven beeps and then we'll put the cookies in all right here they are I always have such a difficult time with these cookies trying to tell if they're cooked or not, but I'd rather have 
undercooked ones and overcooked and I already put them on for way longer than they're supposed to be. So I'll let them cool for a bit and see what happens. I've let them cool for a bit. Here we go. Mmm. I think I nailed the timing actually. Mmm. Go me. Maybe I can cook frozen things out of the grocery store into the oven for the right amount of time. Yum. Cheers. Hello, I realize I have not provided an update lately about how I'm feeling about anxious people and I'm enjoying it a lot more than I was at the beginning. I've made it to page 100 or er, 200. Um, so there's about 100 and some pages left and the story has gotten more compelling now that we've gotten to know the characters, now that there's less jumping around and I am enjoying it. I think this book was like really hyped for me um, from a variety of sources and so I was a little disappointed because I thought it was going to be like this fantastic book but I am enjoying it and I will be finishing it by Thursday and I'll be back with a full review of it on Thursday. Um, yeah, I also managed to go to sprints last night so I was able to check one of those off and there's only two sprints um, that you need. So hopefully I'll be able to move on to Daisy Jones and the Six soon. I'm trying to decide if I want to buy the audiobook um, in the hopes of being able to start it quicker and read it quicker. I've heard the audiobook is really good. I have two audiobook credits, but I want to use one of them on Tom Felton's book and I want to use one of them on Daisy Jones and I like to stockpile them. So now I'm like, if I buy, if I spend both my audio credits, then what am I going to do if another audiobook comes up that I want? So... I should just use them, shouldn't I? I should. But anyway, I'll keep you posted if I do decide to do that. But I'm going to read Anxious People for a bit now. Um, I ordered dinner because everyone is out and everyone has the cars. So I can't go and buy any food or buy any groceries to make food. So that is the plan. It's Tuesday after work. Hello, friends. I have finished Anxious People. It is... Wednesday evening and I am proud of myself for finishing this one because it was slow going at first but I will say that as the book progressed I really started to appreciate the story he was telling and the way he was telling it the characters and such I like that it's kind of a story about just regular people living their lives so I'm either going to give this three and a half or four stars. The The beginning really did me in for my rating. But I really liked how it wrapped up. It was sweet. It surprised me a bunch of times. So I'm willing to appreciate that the middle to end was good. Even if I didn't like the beginning. So yeah, three and a half or four stars likely. I will update you on what book I start next. But... It's likely to be Daisy Jones and the Six, unless I can figure out how to get Harrow <laughs> into this next prompt. But I think Daisy Jones and the Six shouldn't be too much, too big of a read, and then I would be able to hopefully fit Harrow in for the lap, Harrow, space, in for the last um, week. We'll see what we can do. But anyway, I'm happy to have finished the book, 
and you can hear more about it in my wrap up at the end of the month but overall it was good i give in i understand the hype so anyway i'm gonna call it a night but i'll update you guys the next time i read on what book i'm starting good morning it is a dark and gloomy rainy morning here it's 8 30 so i'm just updating you before i go to work and it's friday yesterday we had a book club for anxious people which is why i read the book in the first place and we all kind of had pretty similar thoughts which was that it was a really slow beginning and we weren't really sure what we were getting and by the end we did enjoy it so it seems to be a pretty common feeling the way i was feeling um lots of discussions about kind of this softer mystery side of mystery versus like hardcore puzzle solving um but also kind of the discussion of not really having all of the facts like in this book the narrator is technically like the author because he's telling the story of many different people but you don't get the true story until the end so it's not like one of those mysteries where you can solve things because you can solve it with the information you have but the information that you have isn't often the right information so an interesting book to say the least and we did say we'd probably read some more frederick bachman at some point i do own bear town but not in a not for a while i really need a break from him so anyway last night i started daisy jones and the six on my ipad and i went to cassie sprints for a bit and i did enjoy i do enjoy it so far like it i'm compelled to see where this is going but i think that the style is a little weird so it's more of a interview style book but not like how evelyn hugo was um where you kind of were like living the chapters it's really just like people telling what happened lots of different people being involved so i think it'll take me a mi minute to get used to that formatting and i kind of understand why people like the audiobook but in order to fulfill the prompts for this wave i need to read an ebook so i'm not really sure i i'm gonna keep going though i do like it i'm just not 100 percent sure like how the story is gonna be like told like this like there's not a lot of visual detail but it's interesting i'm giving it some time to sort out because i know people love it so it, it's got to be good um yeah so it's friday which means that it's time to finish up this video um i might pick up my camera once more before the end of this wave um comes at five o'clock because i'm not sure if i'm gonna work the whole day i technically still have some hours in lieu from yesterday so i don't know but anyway if i don't thank you so much for watching this week's vlog and i will see you next week for the last wave of spoopathon and finishing up the readathon so don't forget to hit that subscribe button follow me on my socials linked down below and comment what you've been reading this week and i'll see you in the next one bye